Okay, this video is going to cover how to set up text message and email notifications when teachers or the school posts new information to the website. We start at the school's homepage, www.highlandschool.org, and we choose login. And when we click login, you'll notice that the website actually changes. We are not at highlandschool.org anymore. We are at highlandschool.myschoolapp.com and this is the login page of this. It's important to remember or realize that you're changing web pages. So um, one thing that you can do if you like using tabs is open up a second tab for your login because some things that are available on this page, like all of this information under the headings of our first level navigation, are not yet available on the parent site. They are just available from this public site on the outside of the login. So you can open this link in a new tab so that it's easy to go back and forth if you are looking for information on the public side and also want to access things behind the login. So you are going to log in with your username and password and if you haven't logged in before you can refer to another email if you have questions about how to log in for the first time. Okay, when you log in for the first time you're going to see a welcome screen pop up on top of the website that has a series of click-throughs they will actually help you learn to navigate the, the website and the parent side of the website. They'll take a few minutes, and so a lot of people go straight here and close them out. But if you will watch them, they will um, show you around, especially this one in settings, because what I'm covering right now is how to set up your notifications. So it will just show you your way around the screen. It tells you to access settings by clicking on your name. And uh, when it drops down, you'll see settings. So if you click through these on your own and read each message as it pops up, you'll get more information about where to do things on the website. So this is our notifications page, and this is what we need to set up. You may use notifications to determine which site updates will trigger an email or text alerts to be sent to you. And this is a click through, so it's live and you can make changes as you are going through it. It tells you here that the email address that you have on file with the school is the one where your notifications will be sent. And if you want to, you can set up a text enabled device here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on this green plus. I'm going to enter a 10 digit number. Select a provider and save that information. Now this number and your number will get uh, a code sent to it and you'll have to type that code in in order to activate. Okay, so I'm going to take you through setting up uh, the notifications. Let's start at the top and work our way down. Messages can be sent inside the website to other users of the website. We'll talk about that in another video, but if you want to know when you get a message inside Whipple Hill, then you want to check email here, check assignment added if you have a student in 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, or 8th grade, edit your options for announcements posted, and be sure to click the options under your child's groups. Once you've done that, save it. Edit the options for news posted. Announcements and news are the way that uh, teachers will communicate with you most often for weekly updates, for information regarding um, what's coming up in, in the future for your classroom from 4K through 8th grade. Select all school news. Uh, select your groups for these four. And your child's groups needs academics selected 
and then the same for. Once you've done that, save it. And that's how you set up notifications inside uh, Whipple Hill. Remember, you're going to have to activate your cell phone by putting in a code that comes as a text message. And you want uh, to make sure that your email address is correct here. If you need to edit this, keep in mind that this is the email address that that um, we will use for you for our all of our school notifications. Okay, thanks for watching and please let me know if you have any questions regarding setting up notifications through the website. My email address is tbaker at highlandschool.org.